Hey guys, it's Sifthum, and this is all the Mod 6 to the Sky. Hope everyone is well and had an amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty cool pack here. So, in between episodes, I haven't done much. It's actually only been like an hour. So, I am uh, recording another one now. Uh, Supremium. In an hour, we got about uh, 30? About 30 or so. So, yeah, we're getting about 30 Supremium in an hour. That's like a 15,000 uh, Imperium, I suppose. So, not too bad on the production. Uh, what we're going to probably get to before anything is craft a couple things here. And then we're going to go ahead and head to the nether. I want to work towards creative flight today. That is, uh, is actually my plan. So that is pretty cool. I did a little bit of enchanting too. I didn't get anything good except for this uh, protection. And I'm probably going to pull that off actually. Because we're making a new helmet in a second. So I just uh, I just want to get it off, right? Then we'll put on the new helmet. There we go. It's uh, protection 4 here. Go ahead and uh, pop that in there. Pop some books. And uh, hopefully we get it first. No, we got a call. It's kind of random which one you get first. So I guess uh, you, you may sometimes have to spend more books. Because I definitely don't uh, want this one. I think this one, yeah, magic damage dealt by and to the user is reduced. <laughs> dealt by and to the user. So it reduces your damage and makes you take less magic damage. Whatever that means. But anyway, that's cool. And then we'll go ahead and actually make our helmet, I guess. So... What we need here is uh, some magma blocks melted down in this puppy here, the melting chamber. I need to move this too, actually. We need the uh, solidification chamber. There you go. It'll move the magma over there. Then we go ahead and make these things here, the uh, crystallized amber. Uh, yeah, that's the right recipe right there, right? Oh, we did a weird thing. It's weird too, whenever you put a recipe in here, if you like put three in, the first one gets done instantly. It's like you have to wait till this timer's done. It's a little weird. But anyway, that's good there. And uh, that's awesome. So we have everything. We're going to make a fire charm as well. That's going to make it so we don't take as much fire damage over there, right? So the blazes uh, won't be as uh, scary. Go ahead and do that. I think that might be the first uh, glowstone I've made in the entire pack. I can't think of any other glowstone I've had to make. And wait, that's good there. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can actually enchant this thing now. Uh, do I have a speed upgrade now? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. Sweet. What do we get? Protection 4. And Soulbound. Actually, that's really good. Well, then, in that case, I suppose, you will uh, right-click on this when it's in your inventory to turn it on and off, too, which is nice. But it looks like we can put our protection on something else now, so that is actually awesome. I also want to go ahead and enchant this uh, dagger here, because you can see here I have Soul Jars, right? So I have eight of them. I'm planning to, um, I guess, try to get Withers. I want to aim for the seeds, the Wither Skeletons, as well as uh, Muscle Dew Blades while they're there, right? Beheading, Frost Aspect, that's probably slow in Disarming. Uh, what is, uh, I want to check Frost Aspect. I know what Disarming is. It actually works really good. So it actually makes weapon, uh, mobs drop their weapons. Uh, which one is it? Frost Walker, Frost Aspect, Frost Aspect. There we go. Slows and weakens the target. That's actually not bad at all. That's okay. So I'll work with that. And I might as well put this uh, upgrade here. Protection on something. Let's put it on the boots. Let's just uh, throw it on there. There we go. Sweet, sweet. Four levels. I'm fine with that. Awesome. And now we have uh, protection four, right? That's right. Or sorry, eight. That isn't too bad. And then we can just drop off this helmet for now. So that's two good upgrades for the, I guess, the nether. So that's pretty awesome. I've been trying to make this thing for days. And the only thing I need to make it, it actually just stores experience. It's actually a really good item to store experience. But I just need a bat wing, I think is what it is. I haven't seen a bat. And uh, right under here, it's dark. I thought I'd see bats by now. But maybe they changed how they spawn in 116? Or maybe past 112, I guess. Because I have not seen a single bat. Where in 112, I would have had them all over the place under this. Just because the block under this is dark, right? Anyway, that's good there. I made some of these too, Inferium Apples. So they're just uh, Inferium Golden Apples. And then you get uh, Absorption too, as well as the Golden Apple effect, right? So... Pretty awesome there, just as a backup in case we have trouble. I think we're pretty good because we have this. This just has to sit in our inventory too. We do not have to worry about it. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Do we have everything? I think so. Maybe a couple more cardboard boxes. Then we'll head here. Let's go ahead and grab some oak. Here we go. Only want like eight of these. Uh, that's good. Awesome. And then we need a hammer. Go ahead and grab one. Have so many just leftover hammers. <laughs> so go ahead and do that. Awesome. And that'll give us two more cardboard boxes, just like that, right? No, that's not how you make it at all. There you go. There's it. That's how you make them. There you go. 
So that's pretty good there. Okay, so we're gonna head to the nether. I always dislike heading to the nether in void packs, you know what I mean, and in sky world packs, because it's gonna be a void there, and it gets very discombobulating really quick. So hopefully I don't get lost there. Uh, we're gonna make a portal like this, I guess. Uh, I guess it would be with the amount of blocks, like two more high, right? You go, and come across. There we go, and sweet. That works there. Then we'll just uh, go ahead and use a flint and steel. And I think we're good to go. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. And uh, I think that's good. I'm just making sure we have everything. Oh, did I fill up my uh, thingy? Yes, it's pretty much full. That should be good enough. Okay, let's uh, head through. Let's head through. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. And uh, hopefully we get uh, not too far from a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, a thingy. Let's go ahead and change our uh, fortress. Um, view distance, right? Render chunks up to 32. And then you gotta kinda look around for a little bit, right? Kinda like in a circle. There you go. And then let's go to our map. There we go. Oh, we actually see two fortresses. That's not too bad. That's actually awesome. So we've got one there and one there. This one has two spawners for sure. Those are stairs. That's just a hole. What do we get over in this one? This one we got, this map is kinda jank. It works, but it's a little jank, right? Uh, we got one spawner at least, and nothing else. So let's actually aim for this one over here. And I guess we'd go, it doesn't matter where, just somewhere central in it, right? How do you add the waypoints on this thing? Oh, there you go. You got to right click, add waypoint, and uh, we'll just call it uh, Fortress. <laughs> there you go. I don't think it matters, right? And we probably want one on here too, right? So add waypoint, just call it uh, Portal. There you go. Is there any way to like change the color? Okay, that one's green. Okay, that's not too bad. And we should be good to go. Um, you can see here, we can't see anything. It's like totally discombobulating. You can't see nothing, man. Uh, I need to kind of sort out our facing. We need to be facing uh, northeast. North, uh, no, that'd be northwest a little bit, right? So let's hit F3. And we are facing west. Yeah, it'd be like this way. Oh, I can actually see the, I don't even need to worry too much. We're actually close enough where this isn't too bad. This is why I always set it to 32. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just kind of look around, take my time. Because uh, yeah, it, uh, you can get lost so easy. So very easy in this uh, nether. You can notice the sky is just changing colors as we go through different biomes. Um, I also have the throttle down still, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. How fast are we moving? Not too fast. <laughs> I guess we could speed it up. Oh, not the hover. I almost turned the hover off, man. Uh, which one is it? This one? There we go. Awesome. Then slow it down. Cool. And we're already here. Let's go ahead and grab a box. Guess we're going to get a spawner right away. I don't even know if we need a spawner. I just figured we'd get one. Uh, that is not how you do that. Let's uh, break you real quick. Let's do that. Let's see if we can actually grab a pick. Awesome. And uh, grab that puppy. So we got a spawner now. So that's cool. Also want to fill these up, so like I said, I'm going to be killing these guys, and uh, hopefully we get a good amount of uh, wither skeletons, because that's actually what I'm really here for. Uh, is this one full? Yeah, this one has no data. Um, maybe, no, I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of them first, I suppose. Yeah, we got people, holy moly, this place is crazy. Uh, uh, there you go, at least the fire damage doesn't do much. I'm more worried about... I'm not actually worried about too much here. I mean, our... I guess, what is it here? This? That's like 11 armor right there, you know what I mean? We got we got pretty good armor with uh, everything that we have, which is good. We have way too many blazes around, though. This place is a zoo. It's a straight-up zoo. I may leave this area and wait till it calms down a bit, because right now it's a little hyper. Let's, uh, let's go to a little more chill spot. So I think I'm going to go and run around here, kill these guys a little bit, you know what I mean? Hammer them out. And then fill up our jars, right? So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm filling these up, right? And then once they're filled, I'll probably just head back and then probably work on making the seed for the uh, actual wither skeleton, right? Not too concerned about the blaze seed right now, but if we can just make it too, maybe we will. Because uh, why not, right? So, yeah, just let me do this for a bit. And, uh, oh, you notice that guy dropped his sword, too? That is from disarming. It actually has a pretty high rate, which is actually pretty nice. And wait, I'm going to do this for a bit. And, okay, I just realized that I couldn't have gotten, actually, probably a better chance for this. Because 
These skeletons are all dropping heads. They're all dropping heads because of beheading. I've already got 32 of them without having to do anything, you know what I mean? Just uh, just a lucky enchant. I, I, when I first got it, I was just like, oh, beheading, I don't want that. But now that I see it in action, uh, we couldn't have done much better. Like, this guy's going to drop a head. Give me a head, man. <laughs> just like that. I didn't even need the seed, man. I just needed beheading, right? That is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to finish this up here. I just have to do a little more of the blazes. And then we'll be filled up. And then, yeah, I'll be able to make the seeds whenever we feel like it. So that is pretty cool. And maybe farm, maybe, uh, farm a few more of these skulls too, because why not? And okay, we're going to go ahead and actually craft up our wither skeleton seeds. So we're going to get that done. Uh, we need the actual base seed as well. Apparently we have to get into Patania today too. Just the uh, kind of early part of it. We need uh, three pieces of mana steel. So that's going to be something we do here in a little bit. I didn't realize we're going to need it. We also need essence to kind of get this done. So yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, let's do that. Then we should be able to actually craft this thing. I can't remember which corner it is. That's a problem with making a symmetrical base sometimes. <laughs> but I do like my symmetrical bases. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. Pop that there. Go ahead and grab all this junk. There you go. Yeah, getting into Patania shouldn't take very long. But I am going to have to uh, get a bit of this essence to be able to get us to the uh, flight. So anyway, let's put that there, put that there, put that there, and we should be good. So we just hit the button. We got our little, uh, I guess, graphic there. Just uh, shooting particles, and uh, that's cool. And uh, now we have our Wither Skeleton Seed, which is pretty awesome. That is our first Tier 5. Um, I don't even think we have a Tier 4 yet, so that's the thing. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put that right there. It doesn't really have a place to go right now. It's going to get stuck in the builder and the, not the builder, the crafter in the chest, but that's fine. That's fine for right now. Anyway, that's good. Now, uh, what we need the uh, essence for right now is going to be for this, the witherproof uh, glass or the blocks. It doesn't matter which one. They're both pretty easy to make, but we do need essence. I'll probably end up uh, using the uh, fertilizer stuff at some point, this stuff right here. Uh, the next thing we'll do is probably start pretending. I'm going to show you what we're working on. We actually need four. We need one of these, this flight augment. It goes on the chest from at Mystical down here. This puppy right here goes on this, and it gives you a flight, right? So we need to kill four withers. Then we need to make this uh, onitude augment. Then we have to get three mana steel, two all the modium nuggets, and then four prosperity. This part's easy. That's easy. Actually, it's all pretty easy. We just need to get it done. <laughs> anyway, let's go here for a sec. Actually, I have all the modium. In here, you get all the modium at like 0.2% uh, from the gravel. Let's go in here. We got a little bit of it in here. I don't have much of this yet, but anyway, that's good. Grab you. Awesome. Probably drop off the rest. Then we head down here and uh, get enriched, right? Get enriched. Sweet. Grab you. Pop you in here. That's awesome as well. And uh, now we have our two nuggets, right? So we need two nuggets. And, uh, that's them. That's cool. So we have that part done. So let's go ahead and drop that off. Next thing we want to do is probably start Batania. So I have a chest over there, right? It's pretty much ready to go. Um, but I need this. I need floral fertilizer. Let's go ahead and pick one. There we go. Let's go to uh, dye here. Choose what dye we have the most of. We have lots of essence, so we can make any kind we want anyway. Let's just go make a stack. And uh, that should be good there. Oh, let's go grab a shear and bow meal in case we did it too. Uh, shear. But I have you. It's been a long time since I've been done Batania in any amount. But anyway, let's go grab that and some bow meal. So I may do some derp in here. Just uh, throwing that out there kind of prematurely. <laughs> anyway, just uh, go ahead and use a fertilizer. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hopefully we get a good amount here of what we need. I know we need uh, a bunch of white, right? Not a bunch of white, but we need a few white. Um... We can double up the white anyway. Then I think we need yellow, brown, and light gray. So as long as we get those colors, we have pretty much everything we need for the rest of the day. Anyway, that's good there. Probably do a few more. There you go. And uh, I should be able to... Can I vein mine this? Yes, I can. <laughs> there you go. What do we get there? We've got two of these. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to double these up real quick. Let's go ahead and grab that. Then you just bone meal them. Sweet. And then you can go ahead and uh, shear. Didn't I make a shear? Yeah, it's right here. There you go. You just use the shear on them. Sweet. And that actually doubles them straight up, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Because now we actually have 16 of the petals, and that should be enough. 
Anyway, let's go and uh, throw most of these flowers in here. Let's go ahead and do that. I know I need the browns. I know I need the orange. Is that gray? No, I need light gray. Light gray. They're right there. There you go. I think that's all we need. So let's do that. I don't know why it didn't all go in the chest, but that's kind of uh, strange. <laughs> let's go over here. Oh, I need reds. I need that. Actually, I don't need one of those colors, and I don't know which one it is. Anyway, let's grab that. Okay, so we get started in the Batania. First thing we're probably going to need is a, let's grab the stone here. Let's uh, make some slabs because we'll need it. We're going to need a petal apothecary. So let's go to apoth. Actually, let's go to the table, I guess. There you go. Apoth. <laughs> Apith? No. Apoth. There you go. Could I have one of them? Uh, oh, it has to be cobble. You know what? Let's just make sure we have a petal on us. We do. And we'll just do it over here. <laughs> there you go. Because I could just do it just like this. Awesome. And that'll handle that. Okay. So let's head back here. Drop that there. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. Go ahead and do that in that. So the first thing we're going to need is a pure daisy. And that's actually four of these. Awesome. No, four. Actually, we're going to do two anyway. So let's actually grab eight. There you go. And then we need some seeds. So stack of seeds. There we go. And you just cue them in there. So one, two, three, four. Throw in a seed. You're done. Fill it up with water. See there it says empty hand. And uh, you just uh, uh, right click. There you go. Put the same recipe in. There you go. You're good to go again. That should be good there. Uh, where's our two pures? Right here. Sweet. We'll just uh, do one like right here and one like right there. What we need, need this for is get us living wood and uh, living rock, I think it's called. Oh, that's totally wrong. Why don't I have actual oak? I'm fail at life. I didn't get the right wood. We actually need uh, just raw oak. So go grab that or any wood, right? But uh, I'm going to grab oak. So that's what I have mostly of. Wait, let's try that again. Sweet. Should immediately start seeing particle effects, which is uh, pretty cool. And then you know they're working. And that's what it's doing. It's just transforming everything directly around it. And uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, we need a time in the bottle. There you go. Oh, I sped that one up more. Anyway, do I have an axe on me? Yes, yeah, sweet. Go ahead and do you. Go ahead and do oh, this here. <laughs> there you go. And then try to get it another batch done before that time wears out. Go. Awesome. And uh, that should be enough to get us started there. So that's good there. Uh, with that, we need a mana pool and a mana spreader. So let's go ahead and grab them. Let's go to mana uh, pool. Go ahead and grab one of these puppies. That looks good. Then it was a spreader as well, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Awesome. Uh, I only want to make one. Yeah, it's okay if we use white. Do that. Awesome. That's good there. And then I guess we take the pool. Doesn't really matter where it goes, I guess. We'll just put it over here for now. Sweet. And then the spreader. I um, guess that doesn't matter too much either. Let's just uh, put it like one high. Actually, uh, let's keep it close. I only want to have enough mana to make three mana steel, right? So I want like no waste in uh, mana. The further away it is, you kind of get a little bit of loss, right? So that's good there. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of this. Sweet. Need to make some of these sticky things. Let's make three of them. Awesome. And then you just do this, 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 and that, that. There you go. You got your wand of the forest. You want to run over this thing. Shift right click. And then shift right click. It'll aim it at the pool. Next thing we want to do is make a flower, which is going to generate mana. So we need two brand, a light gray, and a red. So let's uh, hunt that down. Two, two brown, right? Let's do that. A light gray and a red. That should be enough for two of them, right? Let's do you. Awesome. Uh, I guess that'll go to the bar. Sweet. Two of them. Awesome. And then this. Awesome. Just trying to do this uh, mad dash, right? <laughs> anyway, go ahead and hunt this down. Grab ourselves some seeds. Grab ourselves a bucket as well. And then just that, that. Then Q, Q. Q and Q, right? And then C. Awesome. Then that, that. And then empty hand. Sweet. Right click and C. There you go. So we've got our two endo flames. Uh, what we want to do is, I guess, put them over here. We'll just put one there, one there. Then look at them with the Wanda Force to make sure they're linked up. So are they linked up? They are. 
They have the little check mark beside the spreader symbol. Actually, is that the flower? Yes. Otherwise, if they weren't, you just go shift like right, right click, right? Or is it like this? Yeah, it's like that. Or no, you bind them to the pill. I forget if you bind them to the pool. It must be the spreader. You bind them to the spreader. Anyway, let's go there. Uh, what is the last thing we need? Probably some coal, right? We need some burnables. So let's actually grab this. We probably only need like 10 coal. So I'm not going to worry about any level of automation right now. <laughs> I just want to get this done. It's going to grab like two. I'm going to throw that there. Should uh, burn them. There you go. And that should start, uh, yeah, shoot mana in. Shooting, uh, start shooting mana in here. Uh, we will need a few iron now. So let's actually grab three of them. Sweet. And then after this, we'll pretty much have everything for our augment. Then I'm going to go ahead and use um, that fertilizer um, from Mystical on the essence and just make it so we can make stuff really quick. But once you're able to actually make one of these, is you're going to get that little X is going to turn into a check mark. Then you're ready to throw it in there. You can also see the mana in there just by kind of like right clicking, right? But uh, this is going to be too fast. <laughs> also, these things burn for a little bit, but it's not very long. Yeah, it's already burning there now, which is cool. And uh, still not enough mana. Oh, you can't even see the mana going up in these, I guess. It's going like straight up. Anyway, it's doing what it needs to. And uh, there you go. We can already make our first one. And there you go. We got our first mana steal. I need to do that two more times, basically. So I'm just going to do this. Then I'm probably going to run over here. Going to grab some of this uh, fur. There you go. And then I'm going to probably do a little bit of work by myself. Because, like I said, I need to make ourselves some witherproof blocks. Uh, let's drop this stuff off for now. Sweet, sweet. Let's leave that on us. What else can go? That can go. That can go. That can go. There you go. Go ahead and grab a bunch of this. <laughs> probably don't need this much. But I need to sit here and just do this on this. And get us enough essence to be able to produce this stuff, right? Just enough to make a safe cage to be able to kill the wither. And then probably use the crusher to kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for a bit. Once I have everything ready, we're going to come back and uh, hopefully get creative flight. I'll probably actually go ahead and just make the armor too. Because uh, it's like level crafting. If we go to at mystical, you go. Hunt down down. Where is it at there? The armor. The actual chest plate. There you go. You have to make all the previous levels of armor, but these ingots are nothing special again. It's just this, right? Um, just the prosperity right there. So super simple. And yeah, once I'm done, I'll be back. So I think I have pretty much everything we need now. I actually think we're good. I grabbed our mob crusher. Entire mob part's a little backed up because I forgot to turn on the other one, but that's fine. Went ahead and made the some premium armor. So I'm wearing all but the actual chest plate right now because I need a jetpack. Then we got our nuggets. Uh, we got our three ingots, we got our prosperity, and then we got a stack and a bit of, uh, I guess, blocks for witherproof blocks. So we're going to just uh, build it kind of in a very temporary spot right now, probably right up here. So uh, I don't know if we're going to need a wither farm in this pack. I may just have to kill four more withers uh, in this pack, to be honest, and then get the seeds. We'll kind of see how it works out here. So this may end up being very temporary. But anyway, let's build a little three by three, I suppose, something like that. That looks good. And then, yeah, just kind of sort this out, right? Let's do something like that. And then stop, stop that. There you go. I don't know why they have to make the wand. I'd rather a key did this than the mess wheel. The mess wheel is not really convenient for this. There you go. Anyway, let's go ahead. Get this over here. Oops, I just misplaced one. This is not a block you really want to misplace either, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't want these corner blocks either. Let's get those out of there. Actually, do I have my night vision? No, I don't. We're going to be in the dark for a second. Anyway, let's do that. Yo, let's just uh, put these on the corner, I suppose. Just to uh, make it so we could actually build this thing. Kind of easy. And then I can wand the rest of it, I guess, anyway. There you go. That's good. And do this right there. And uh, yeah, that is good. So that would be kind of the base shape of it, I suppose. I uh, probably don't want this block here, actually. So let's actually get rid of that one. And I definitely don't want this one here. <laughs> get that out of there. Awesome. And then I'll just put a piece of cobblestone like right here. And then we'll go ahead and grab the actual mob crusher. Actually, we'll put the mob crusher on the outside. It's uh, probably the safer bet. I think it's going to absorb a hit, but I'm not sure if it can absorb a direct hit. So that's the thing. So we'll put it there. Uh, where'd my upgrade go? I need to go hunt down my upgrade. So I'll go and uh, do that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and toss that in there. Maybe it, it must uh, fall out when it breaks, right? That is the thing. 
Um, it should be in the chest then, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Get you out of there, you are there, you are there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can wand that. That looks good. Then I guess all we need to do is get a roof on this puppy and uh, this should be good to go. I usually like to build it one more tall actually, but sometimes it's a little sketchy with withers, right? <laughs> it's sometimes a little sketchy. Let's do that. I really don't want him to get out and fly around, right? I'm not really geared for uh, fighting withers. I don't even have a ranged weapon at this point, right? So I really don't want to deal with that at all. Anyway, that's good. Then this here, then this here. Awesome. And this should be able to collect the items as well. Let's go see if the uh, upgrade is actually down here. I don't know what button is the descent key. I should probably figure that out, right? <laughs> anyway, it's my upgrade in here. There we go, awesome. That's all we need. And uh, we should be able to automate this guy now. So let's get this out of here because we don't want a pillar of cobble. And then I guess we um, we'll leave that cobble. I guess it doesn't matter. That has power. We're going to go ahead and throw the upgrade in here. And I still need to build this, right? <laughs> so actually what I'll do is do it on this side. This makes sense. We'll make a one wide opening on this side. And then he can't get out, right? But we can get in. So that is probably the best bet. Let's do this. Go ahead and do that there. There you go. And I guess we don't even need this one here in the end. There you go. Oh, I need soul sand. Let's go grab soul sand. I grab our helmet too, so we would actually see as well. I kind of forgot when I swapped it out. Do something like this, this, uh, that, and that. Maybe you can let me put it. Then we could just do you, you, you. And let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out of Dodge. Yep, and uh, see if he instantly dies, and hopefully nothing but that cobblestone blows up. Let's see. He might be dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> there we go. So is it actually in the machine? There we go. That's super simple. Okay, so we got it. We got it. This is super simple. And uh, we're going to have flight in a second, man. And that's all that matters in life, right? Anyway, this is uh, cool. There we go. Do another one. And then, yeah, just get this finished off. You also gonna need a tickery table, just that there. It's uh, super easy to make, but uh, that is kind of like the last part of it, right? Now, I think this was gonna be done on the tinkering table, right? So we go to the actual augment, right? Hit over here, and yeah, there we go. We actually gotta make that first, then do the rest. Okay, I see how it works. So let's actually grab this here. There you go, see if we can craft that up. We can, cool. And then with that, we just need uh, four more Supremium. So go ahead and grab that. One, two, three, four. This armor was easy to craft too. Basically you need, uh, what? 40 of these ingots. Then you just do eight for each level. And then you needed, uh, I guess, 40 of the gems as well. And uh, then eight for each level, right? So that's kind of how that worked. It was uh, really simple to do. I thought the crafting was gonna be a lot more tedious than I saw the numbers. I was just like, this ain't bad at all. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this set up here and get it done so that's good we're gonna tune this puppy so let's do that go ahead and throw this this usually goes in the corner so let's just assume there we go go ahead and grab the nether stars that looks good there and uh, see if this works is that actually working wait wait a sec oh no tell me this isn't wrong Oh, is it, is it because the recipe is backwards? Let's try this. Maybe it's because the... Oh, I have another star not right in my inventory. I'm all worried. I'm all panicked. All that stuff. It's working. Okay, let's go video settings. Decreased. Minimal. I don't want to see the stink lines. There we go. It's done. It didn't use my stuff. Oh, that's unattuned. Wait. Wait. Oh, it took a while. I took that, that is weird how delayed that was. Either way, that's fine. We got our flight argument. And then we should just have to take the tinkery table down. Uh, pop that down. And I think we just have to put like the chest in, right? Something like that. You have this one slot open. And I think we do that. There you go, we have flight. Just like that, afraid of flight. Huh? There you go, afraid of flight, just like that. You don't even need the rest of the piece of the armor. Like you don't need it all. Uh, you can wear it and you can put arguments on it. And that's really awesome, but uh, we have the armor now. We actually have Creative Flight in, uh, in this pack, which is 
absolutely awesome, and uh, we got it done. Even though I ran into the brick wall of Britannia that I did not see. So I'm pretty happy I got it done in this video. So that's actually pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and probably end this one here though. Because uh, yeah, this one I totally it just threw me off. But as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.